Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to go over a covered put. So in a previous lesson, we talked about a covered call where you're buying the underlying stock and you're selling a call against that position. This is kind of the reverse. This is the exact opposite of this, where we're actually selling stock short and then we're selling a put against that uh, short stock. So this is a bearish strategy. We want implied volatility to be, to be fairly high. Optimal time frame in that 30 to 60 days to expiration. Same, similar profit target, kind of that 25 to 50% of max profit. Our downside risk is none because we profit when the stock goes down. Our upside risk is undefined because the stock theoretically could keep going up and up and up forever, right? Never really happens that way, but theoretically. Uh, and then the probability of profit is, is uh, usually over 55%. So the, the trade setup is we're simply gonna sell short 100 shares of stock, and then we're going to sell 130 delta put against that. Time decay in this type of trade works in our favor, so it's a positive theta trade. Let's go to the platform, take a look at an example. So looking at IWM as our example, Again, this is, if this is something that you'd be bearish on, uh, this, would, this would be a candidate for a covered put because it's got implied volatility over 50. IV percentile is 56 in this case. So we'd simply go to the trade tab, go over to the put side, and remember we want around that 30 delta. If it's, if it's kind of in between, I like to opt for the higher one, so I'd go with the 31 delta. Then we'd simply right click and do sell covered stock, okay? Remember when we bought it, we did buy covered stock on the call side. In this case, we're selling the put, we're selling the stock, so we're gonna sell it. So it populates down here, so we're selling 100 shares of IWM and we're selling one put at the 130 strike, okay? So we simply right click, analyze that trade, and it pops up here. So we've got an expiration of 520, and so that's the same one as, as our expiration here, so that's lined up. We've got our dash mark moved to the break-even point, so you can see we have a probability of profit between now and expiration of just under 60%, so a little you know, over 55% is what you're typically going to get on this type of a trade. So you know, just like a covered stock, kind of works, works the same way except for opposite. You've got the undefined risk to the upside, your risk is capped to the downside, and that's what that's what helps give you that prob that higher probability. Remember, if we were just going to sell this stock short, let's, let's analyze that and take a look. If we unclick that. Remember, this is just a 50-50 bet. If we move our break break even there, about 48-51, about a 50-50 about a bet, and so that's why you would look to potentially do this because yes, you're capping your upside potential. However, you are increasing your probability of success. And over time, you're going to be more successful with that higher probability than just simply buying or selling stock outright. So I hope that was helpful. We'll see you in the next lesson.